Hey everybody and welcome to Isamu Rat Care and um, the 11th day of enrichment feeding so we're very near the end now. This is actually the last one I'm going to film because I filmed the final, the 12th day, um, a little bit earlier because I needed access to um, work surface and currently mugs um, birthing cages up on there. I want to apologise in advance because I'm mid cold at the moment so this is probably not going to be the best sounding video and I'll try not to get too snotty at <laughs> the time. So this one is all about um, particular kind of foraging toy that you sometimes can buy for parrots which is to do with pots and what triggered this is one of my friends got me a lovely Christmas present which I'll show you which is here so this is made up of lots of little pots that the rats have to lift off the um, tops from in order to get on it's it's going to be a brilliant toy and I've, I've actually waited <laughs> until now to, to give it to them so I'll be giving them that today with some of their food basically in each of these pots hung up so they have to work a bit to get it out and it's all about this manipulation of things and the chains go at different heights so I might do that so that they have to work out how to get to the shorter ones and so on so a really good toy and I'm really quite excited about it I can also twist these things and you know it's like as much fun for me as it's for the rats so um this reminded me a lot of um a toy that I bought from a friend who actually made them herself a while ago, which I also like, and I rediscovered um, it got to the bottom of my um, rat stuff drawer, um, which is another option. It's something that's similar in design that you could make yourself. Um, I'm not going to show you how to because I haven't got the stuff to do it, but I will show you the toy and it's fairly straightforward. Um, this was made by a lovely person called Berry Instant, also known as the Berry Cup at the time. So it's a simple plastic cup, which she drilled a big sized hole in the middle and then she embedded, um, you'll look down there, embedded a loop in the bottom with um, a kind of bit of wax I think she melted it into, um, which worked quite well and she melted it into the bottom of the cup as well. So that basically then the chain was suspended in the middle of the cup and then she got um, some of these which are little kids bowls, again hole through it, which you would then thread the chain on and this would then sit inside it. Then it's just a case of adding a loop to hang it on and then the rats, much like before, either have to do it by trying to get their paws into here or knocking it around, which they do a lot of, or they have to lift off the top and get the head in. I actually made this slightly um, more challenging. Um, I found a small bowl that fit on it upside down, which was harder for the rats to get off, but I don't know what's happened to that bowl. It's many years since I've used it, but this is also a great solution and it's, it's long lasting. My rats have used this many times and they haven't destroyed it. Um, so it, it's great. However, for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to show you how to make one very simply and cheaply from stuff that you can get from the supermarket or actually indeed from your local Costa or, or Starbucks. Um, this is just a normal um, cup. There's no reason why it couldn't have been used. Um, it just so happens that I have these in the house um, for emergency purposes. So it's the cup and it's the lid. So I think straight away you'll be able to see where I'm getting to. Um, what I'm going to use rather than the chain, even though I've got a bit of the chain that could do the job, um, because I want to make it as easy as possible for people, I'm going to use this stuff. Now you could use um, string. String won't last quite as long, but the principles are exactly the same. Um, this is garden wire. So this is sold for attaching plants to things from local DIY stores. In fact, once the planting season happens in spring, it's available everywhere, it seems, very cheaply. Um, I use it for a lot of things with the rats. Um, so we're going to use a length of this, so I'm not entirely sure how much, so I'll give it a decent length. Um, I can always shorten it if I want to. Meh, it's about that long. I'm sure that means a lot to you. Um, so then what I'm going to do is just use a pair of scissors um, and poke a hole in the bottom. Like so. And then much the same, I'm going to poke a hole in the top. I'm going to go for the middle and... Um, like so, so nice and easy. Then I will thread our piece of wire through and what I've got here is some shell rings. So these are just sold and um, they're great for attaching hammocks and stuff to the rat cage. I tend to get them from Ikea because they're cheap but you can buy them from any DIY kind of home store and they're not expensive things. They're also handy because if a rat decides to get into it it can quite easily get out. They do get chewed though so they're not amazing. Um, and I'm just going to wrap the bit of wire around this a couple times and then twist it off at the bottom. So what this does is it means that the cup is held basically on that loop. Um, it can't get any through. So that's sorted and then it's just a case of threading the top on. And then it, just to kind of 
stop it going too far up I'm going to just thread another of these on I can do it at different heights I don't want to be able to lift it too high, high up so this will take a little bit of playing to get to right and you can increase the difficulty by shrinking the um, space so they can get less and less through right so that'll probably do for me they can push it to the side but they and they'll have to knock it off to get into it properly um, what I'm actually going to do, because I know my girls are quite tough, is I'm going to clip it slightly down. Um, in fact, I might clip it all down when I actually put it in there. So they'll have to lift it off. Um, I do have great faith that they'll manage to do that should they want to, but it might mean that they go to some of the others first. Um, and then finally at the end, a final ring just so that you can attach it to the cage. So there we go. Oh, clearly this one works. I might just make this into a knot. there that'll make the same effect so if you see i've just made a loop there since my um first i didn't idea didn't work and um, you'll find with a lot of these i have these ideas i rarely actually check, check, test them out particularly well um I, I do like making things for the rats and actually novel new things keep me entertained just as much as them so there we have a nice kind of enrichment feeding cup much like our berry cup and my parrot feeding toy cup so then all I've got is their usual food rations. I'm going to sprinkle a bit into each of these and then we'll go over to the rat cage and see what they make of them. So um, the toys are in the cage and the girls have been returned, um, apart from maybe one or two that have decided to go explore. Straight away we can see that they've worked out how to get into these little pots, which is good because they've never seen them before. I always like um, offering them a new toy and seeing what they make of it. Um, Currently they're going for the easiest toys. I don't think they've realised the other two exist. Hey Chucks. Um, what I have done, I should say, to this cup is I've added a few holes to it because I want them to be able to smell what's in there. Um, I think that will help motivate them um, because otherwise it is sealed at the moment so they won't be able to smell that there's food in there. Um, we can see that other than Tato, who's quite smart actually, um, the others haven't quite realised what's going on. Um, Luna's, Luna's got it, so that's good. We've got um, some interest in there. Oh, um, and Ellie is being ungraceful as ever. She's quite prone to falling as Ellie. And we have um, a Chocobo, who is also deciding to be as ungraceful as possible. But actually half the challenge with this is they're having to kind of manoeuvre around it. Uh, and we've got some interest in my little berry cup from Monster. Um, we shall see whether she decides to go in it or whether she decides to go for the easier food. Uh, she knows there's food. Where is the food? Returning Mog, who also decided to um, explore this cage. Oh, Mog, I think you might enjoy these. As my most food motivated rat at the moment. Right, what I'm going to try, someone suggested on my YouTube private channel I try a time lapse so I'm going to stick that on for a bit and see what they make of it or whether that shows things well as well.